Hey guys, Kiwi here. So, it's been a little while since I've made a video, which really isn't much of a surprise. I mean, not as on top of uploading as I would like to be. Um, there will be noises in the background, because other people live here besides me. And, uh... You know, that happens. So... Today, well last night, an idea came to mind, and I thought I would try it out. So, um, the thing I'm going to discuss is it's called Book or Movie. And what it is, is I will be saying, asking you which you think is better. Um, you can leave a comment below, or I will probably... I don't know if I should get a Twitter. I don't. But yes. Um, so. I'm also going to be including my personal opinion on this. And everybody's opinion is different. Don't be afraid to leave a comment below though. Uh, telling me what you think is better. But uh, yes. We're going to start with. A very very popular tale. Of Harry Potter. And. I understand that there's like seven books and what is it, eight movies? And it's. Seven movies? I don't. I don't know. Eight. There's eight movies. But. I'm going to start out with that and, uh. You know, I'm just. I don't usually film with people at home, and so this is a little weird for me, I'm not gonna lie. But now, continuing onward into the subject at hand, we're going to start with Harry Potter. And, uh, like, an example of that that could be used is, you know, you have the movies, and, you know, those are pretty cool. But then you have the books, and I think those are better. And the reason why I think that the books are better is because you, you know, you kind of see, like, the, not only the inner dialogue, but you can understand the characters a little bit better, I feel. I mean, like, the portrayals and the articulation was incredible in the movies, but I just feel like in the book you're getting so much more. Plus there's, like, little important things, like, uh... You know, in the book, it's like, it's like they swapped Ron and Hermione's personalities. Um, maybe that's just me, but that's the way that it feels. And it's, you know, it's still cool, because it's still, like, meshes together, and that's awesome, but still. Um, I was pretty excited when she finally got Ron and Hermione together, even though apparently that was a mistake. What's up, J.K. Rowling? cool pairing but yes on that one I think that the books are better um, another reason why I think that is because you know it's like when you're reading a book and you have the personality of the characters of this book you get like um, you sort of get like this image in your head of what the characters are like or at least I do that and there's just some stuff that didn't live up to, uh, yeah. Like, where's the sass? Book Harry was so much sassier than movie Harry. And I mean, I love Daniel Radcliffe, but come on. Where's the sass? I, I want my sass. I appreciate sass. And how about... The Hunger Games. Now this one was a little bit harder for me because I've only read the first two books. Although I already know what happens in Mockingjay because I Google everything. Well, not everything. I mean, obviously you can't find the answer to life on Google. Please don't type that in. That's really not. No. But uh, The Hunger Games... So far, I like the movies. And you know, it kind of works because Mockingjay really isn't out as a movie yet. Although I can't believe they're going to do it in two parts. 
What what is up with that? Is there something like marketing thing I'm not seeing to that? Because it's like Twilight did it, Harry Potter did it, they're doing it, everybody's doing it, and I don't like it. But no, there were actually some elements of uh, like the Hunger Games that I kind of missed in the movies. Like, uh, you know, the PTSD stuff was really, that was fantastic of Jennifer Lawrence to be able to portray that. However, there's little things like uh, the prosthetic leg is missing and there's just so much more that was going on there that they didn't quite point out in the movie of Catching Fire. And, uh, but this one, I wouldn't choose the book for internal dialogue. You know, I think that the movie, I like the movie better. So far, anyways. Um, so I guess, on Harry Potter, it's the book. On Hunger Game, it's the movie. That's, again, this is just personal preferences. Whatever. And let's talk about, uh, Percy Jackson and that there. Um, I have yet to really get into that, so I can't make a personal statement, but I have a feeling a lot of the fandom just groaned simultaneously. Um, I asked uh, the fandom for the op their opinion on whether I should read the book or see the movie, and it turns out that I should read the book series instead of see the movies. Um, I don't know why. But I guess the books are just better. Um, even my sister, who... She only owns the first movie, and she doesn't like the second movie. And she just... She's like, read the books. Just read the books. So, I'm gonna have to do that eventually. Um, also, while I bring up the topic of fandoms, I... Wanted to mention that I actually run a fandom blog on Tumblr. This is a little side note, you can just fast forward from this if you want to, I'm not going to make you listen to me. Pretty much self-advertise, is that what this would be? <laughs> I don't mean it, no. But um, I'll put a link to that below, and uh, it's just a fandom blog. Um, it used to be a Super Hulock blog, but I'm kind of bowing out of the Sherlock fandom. I mean, I love you guys, but that's just a personal thing that uh, happened. Uh, yeah. Really long story, not going to get into it. Although I do still watch Sherlock and I still read the books. I mean, I love Sherlock and I have since I was like 15, so there you go. Also, uh, I apologize for sounding just a little bit snarky in this video. I'm just getting over a head cold. Um, but yes, if... Um, how about The Hobbit? And, uh, again, this is another interesting thing because I've read- I've tried reading- Okay, let's go away from The Hobbit for a second and migrate toward- Migrate towards The Lord of the Rings. And god, I'm jumping around a lot in this video, but bear with me. Let's go to The Lord of the Rings for a minute. Now, um... I tr I watched the movies, and that was alright. I mean, they walk a lot. But you, all the jokes have been made about that, so I'm just going to step away from that. No pun intended. And, uh, you know, it was a, it was a nice storyline. And then I tried to read the books. And uh, I was like 11 at the time. And I just, there was some... He's very descriptive in his writing with uh, the leaves and the walking and, and trees and, and the, like, the cloaked figure in the corner. I mean, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that, but when you're 11, you know, it's like, you think like Alice, you're like, what good is a book without pictures? So... You know, it's just, yeah. But with The Hobbit, um, I haven't seen the movies yet. And I've been meaning to. I really have. But... So far, I'm gonna go with the book. So Lord of the Rings is the movies, and The Hobbit is the book for me. Because... 
it is just absolutely ridiculous to have an 11 year old read the Lord of the Rings and I mean it's I mean if you're into that and you are 11 that's cool I mean everybody's different but I just I couldn't do it I tried really hard though because it's like you know if you're a sibling you'll get this it's like you're the baby sibling and you got the older one and you want to like relate to them and you look up to them and you want to like some of the stuff they like and it's just like this big massive things and you know that's what Lord of the Rings was for us but there you go there's that And speaking of Alice, I'm going to jump into that next. Now, I don't know how many people have read the original story, but I actually, it's my favorite book. The one by Lewis Carroll is my favorite book. I just, I've always loved Alice in Wonderland. I don't know why, I just have. It's kind of ironic too, because it's my mom's favorite book as well but um you know it's like you have all these different portrayals of this story you've got that book you've got um the looking glass wars you've got you know various uh, movie adap adaptations of it like uh, you've got the animation you've got that uh the version with johnny you got tim burton's version and then you have, you know, the Once Upon a Time stuff that they're doing. You know, it's just it's like it's very big right now, once again. And people just... Some people will, like, find something like that and go to the original source, and that's fabulous. But I would probably have to say that the book wins on this one, although I struggle with that a little bit, because... I actually really like Sebastian's dance portrayal with uh, Jefferson. That's actually really awesome. But the unfortunate part of that is that when I go to watch Captain America, all I'm going to see is Jefferson, and that just doesn't work with long hair and combat boots. I'm sorry. You know, that that's, that's just... That's me. I don't know about you. Maybe I'll be able to see Bucky again. I don't know, because I love Bucky too, but... So yeah, so this has pretty much just been me rambling about books and movies, and again, feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below. Um, if you want me to do more of these, you uh, feel free to put a book move a book with a movie down in the comments as well, and um, I will try to keep up with it. And uh, yeah. That is about all I have for today, so toodaloo.